guys welcome to this new video i just checked into my room here in nice uh, french rivera i'm so so excited to be here and i quickly wanted to show you this lovely room there's this huge bed i can't wait to sleep i'm feeling quite tired but not yet it's too early to go to bed i'm not quite sure what is this is this like a kid's bed or something i've literally never ever seen this in a hotel before there's quite a nice view as well uh, unfortunately, I'm not facing the sea, but there's this cute little chapel here. I love, love, love these cute pictures. Very romantic, very um, South of France vibes. And look at this one especially. It's giving me these Grace Kelly feels. Um, and of course, quite a nice bathroom. I just checked it, love the tiles, really cute. Uh, I should probably remove my shoes. Um, but yeah, lots of mirrors, lots of lights, perfect for makeup and filming. Um, but yeah, anyways, so I wanted to quickly talk about a few things and then get ready um, because I have to go. Um, we're gonna go explore uh, the city and there is like a carnival today here Which is like a really big deal apparently and it's like one of the biggest um, sort of uh, Celebrations I think in winter time here in south of France um, Let me quickly remove my hat. I'm sure my hair is all funny It's been quite a long flight seven hours because of the winter winds going West is always a little bit longer, but tomorrow is gonna be about six hours, so it's not gonna be as hard. And I didn't sleep very much, so I was feeling quite tired uh, right before we had to land, and I was just like, oh, I wish I could go to sleep, but I was just too excited to be in Nice because it's one of my favorite places. Um, and actually, I've never been with Emirates to French Riviera, but actually how I found out about Emirates, if you've ever watched my video about emirates and the questions that you asked about my job and the airline i mentioned there that um i found out about emirates because i saw the flight attendants here in nice because i was on a holiday in like i don't know 2014 i think and i saw them at the airport with their beautiful red hats and i was just i was just stunned i was just i couldn't believe how gorgeous they looked and i was just like wow and here i am back here in the exact same spot like five years later almost and I'm one of them it's insane so yeah I'm just very happy to be back because I had a great time here with my friend Antonia so if you're watching hi Antonia and yeah it's just so beautiful I mean it's not as sunny and whatever the weather's not that great today but I'm still very excited I hope I packed the right clothes and yeah, we're just gonna explore. I feel like I'm too excited, so I'm talking nonstop. Um, excuse my makeup and my tired face, who cares about that now? I just wanted to share this um, information with you and that I'm very happy to be back here. <sighs> okay, deep breath. One of you um, on my Insta stories asked me to do a what's in my bag uh, video. And I don't want to do a separate video about that because I feel like it would be a bit weird just to talk what's inside your bag. I mean, maybe it would be fun, but I'm just going to quickly include this because I believe a lot of you want to know what I carry in my work bag. It's quite full, as you can see, and it's actually quite funny because on today's flight, we have two girls who are soupies. We call them soupies because they just joined the airline and it's their first or second flight so for them it was their second flight so it's not a flight where they're technically operating like they're not in charge of door and they don't really have to participate in service they're just sort of there to observe before they actually um, start being in charge if that makes sense so um, yeah and I looked at their bags and it looks so funny because their bags are still like so small and mine is like probably full of stuff and I feel like the longer you are and this job like the longer you stay in the company the more stuff you just put in it so i'm actually going to quickly show you what's inside my bag since some of you wanted to know and yeah i'm just gonna go get ready then and go to the city center so yeah let me just quickly settle down somewhere and i'll do that now okay so i'm just sitting on the floor and i'm gonna do this very quickly um so as you can see this is the bag um, I have a cabin bag and a big suitcase somewhere there in the background, not sure if you can see it But I'm not gonna show what's in there because it's sort of just like uniform shoes that we change 
uh, when we were on board and like a waistcoat and yeah just like a bunch of things that I need for the flight but this is sort of where my real life is and it's like all my documents, my notebooks, my um, makeup and all that stuff so I think that's where things get really interesting and uh, so yeah okay so when you open it I really haven't cleaned this bag for some time so I don't quite know what we're gonna find in here to be honest with you but yeah so it has like um, a few compartments and this is like the main big one here where I keep all my makeup and then this is another one where I don't really know what I keep in here oh it's like pins and like a wallet yeah my card holder and then there's like a bunch of books and notebooks and then there's some other stuff so i'm gonna show it to you okay so i feel like we should start with the first compartment oh my gosh i don't have much time so i really need to hurry um okay so this first um little pouch in here it has all of my makeup and like lip balms i promise to you i didn't do this on purpose i have a red pouch for my makeup i have a red card holder but I swear it's all a coincidence this was actually gifted from a brand called Mon purse it has my first letter of the name and this one I actually got in uh, where did I get that I think I got that as a gift in Christian Hospital in Bangkok when I was doing like a body checkup so yeah that's not planned I'm not that crazy I don't buy things just for the colors and stuff so anyways this is like um, one of those like multivitamin supplement thingies I don't really use it anymore so I should probably take it out this is a lip balm I probably have 10,000 of those and then there's a bunch of other stuff here so I've got hand cream um, Otrovin nose spray in case I get a blocked nose Vaseline I think I have a lot of chapsticks and stuff um, then I have a nail polish uh, Papa ointment um this is oh this is um i don't know what you call them i actually forgot but this is for your bun to make sure that no baby hair comes out um and oh hand sanitizer i think i have a few of those yep two um concealer um a bunch of lipsticks um medication and mints <laughs> Perfume testers because I don't carry full size perfumes in um, my handbag, obviously. And then this is a cuticle oil, very good one actually. It's from I think a German brand, if I'm not mistaken, called Valida. Valida. And yeah, just a bunch of other lipsticks. And I really love this thing. I actually got this in a hotel. Like when you arrive, there's like a bunch of stuff, always like lotions and stuff. So I picked this up somewhere, I think maybe in the UK in one of the hotels and it's like this um i don't know it's like this oil i just put it here it really helps you like relax it has like this lavender smell so before sleep it really helps like if i have to sleep on the flight or generally if i just want to have like a real little relaxing moment it's really really good but this is what i had in my first um section of my bag and I probably don't need half of this but you know just in case um, then I've got in the same section of my bag home keys um, I got both of these keychains in Africa I think this one I got in like Ghana and then this one is from South Africa and it even says South Africa at the back <laughs> very cute I love it um, actually protein balls as well from South Africa just to keep me um, full when I get a little craving and my lipstick the one that I'm wearing is from L'Oreal Infallible one of the crew recommended this to me and I'm telling you guys this thing stays on for hours and I'm not joking like when I'm talking hours I mean like 10-15 hours I applied the lipstick at 4 in the morning and now it is 5 p.m. in Dubai so just think about it I was eating I was drinking coffee it's still there amazing then I have my card holder a bunch of pens <laughs> and this one is super cute JD got this for me for Christmas I think because he knows I love cats so yeah these are just from the hotels like random ones and yeah this is 
my passport and all my documents. The book that I'm currently reading, which is Rich Dad Poor Dad, I have still not very far in, just kind of started it, so it's not really going well. I'm a very slow reader. And this is a little notebook that I put all the information in about my flights, like captain's name and like registration number of the aircraft and all that stuff. So it's a really convenient book to keep when you fly. And I think it's actually my third book since I joined the airline. Uh, oh, I've got more pens and this is a pouch where I keep some of my allowance money. I think here I have euros, yeah. So here I keep my euros and it's gonna be handy today because I'm in France. Sorry, France. <laughs> I, should, I should be saying France, but of course because of Didi I keep saying France. Like, what's happening to my accent? Ugh. And then, so yeah, we are already done with um, three out of four compartments. So I'm getting to the last compartment, which is like a bit messy. Um, there's some receipts and this is, oh, I know what it is. Oh, yeah, it stinks. So this is, I think it actually even still says, if you can see, it's fennel tea. I bought this in Holland and Barrett in the UK. And it's supposed to help you for bloating, so that's why I keep it in my bag. Because like a lot of the times, and a lot of crew I know have this problem. You feel very bloated when you're on board because of the pressure. And yeah, I just should be drinking this, but I never really do. As you can see, the bag is literally almost full. There's like 30 or 40 of those, and I keep finding more um, tea bags, I mean. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I just, I think I forgot that I have it. And then here I have more crap, which is literally receipts. Perfume testers from my favorite Lilabo. Um, oh, this is the oyster card from London, which, which I will need because I'm gonna go to London this month. More tea bags. Yeah, nothing, nothing crazy really. Um, oh, I just found nail file. That's convenient. Um, and at the very back of the bag. Sorry, I should probably be showing everything. I, I'm, I promise I'm not hiding anything. The bag is almost empty. And on the back side, there's another little compartment. And to be honest with you, I don't really know. Oh, I'm keeping here, like, I don't know why I'm keeping all my, like, jewelry here. And I, I think I have a bunch of uh, coins from the States. Yeah, I've got coins. Whoa! I've got coins from the States. And a random pill. I think that's melatonin. <laughs> I have to put everything back in now and then shower and get ready because I'll be late. Okay, so I'll see you later, guys. I think I'm quite late. I hope the crew hasn't left yet. Let's see. bit of police here in the city because of the carnival they're behind me but I don't want to film them and like the roads are blocked and stuff so I'm not quite sure what time is the festival but we're almost in the city now like in the center and do you want to know what's the biggest fail the biggest fail is, is that I didn't take my extra <laughs> battery and I'm filming now with my phone probably as you can tell from the quality so yeah I don't know how this vlog is gonna come out um, but it's such a beautiful day and it's me and Sonia Sonia is just here actually. <laughs> Say hi Sonia. Hi. We flew together to Madrid and we actually got lost. Well not lost yes. but like it we was lost. quite an adventure. We stopped at the pharmacy because she's looking for something for her friend but for a friend's cream, face cream. But they don't have it. They have everything apart from that one that I'm looking for. Might so be really good cream. I don't know what it is. I haven't I don't heard know. of we'll that brand. We'll check the third one. If not, call us. That's it. I guess. <laughs> it's the sign. Exactly. 
We just came for food. Pizza in France. Biggest mistake you could ever do, but this looks really good. It looks promising and we're having some drinks and yeah, just warming up because it's pretty cold outside. We finished our food. The pizza was quite good, you'd be surprised. Um, yeah. Oh sorry. Yeah, so definitely do not be scared to order pizza in France. It's not <laughs> that bad as you would think. Um, and right now we're burning off our calories. It's just such a beautiful Saturday evening. But unfortunately, Sonia's bailing. She's not coming to a carnival with me. I might still convince her, let's see. <laughs> but she's probably not coming, so I'm gonna go alone. <laughs> because, um, yeah, I heard it's a big deal. And like I said, it's a once in a year type of celebration. So I wanna check it out, just for a little bit. a carnival alone anyways without a costume or me being myself is my costume no really I didn't even know that it's like such a big festival so my expectations are super high now there's so much police it's actually scary I don't know if I want to stay here by myself with like lots of random strangers especially knowing that you know there's lots of things happening in the last couple of years in France and these events and stuff what's up so as I said I'm gonna quickly show you what I got in car for it's quite a bit big bag but um, it's not like a lot of stuff I think I mostly got like salads and some fruit and yeah I don't really remember to be honest <laughs> I'm just grabbing things as I see them in the supermarket I'm like oh I'm gonna eat that or I'm gonna use that oh no my blueberry spilled ouchies um, let me just quickly put things on this little bed I need to hurry cuz my wake-up call is like now and I need to still do my hair and dress, um, I mean change into my uniform. So let me just quickly unpack and I'll show you quickly everything. So here are my groceries. Not that anybody cares I suppose, but yeah, some blueberries, raspberries, got some pears, um, canals, I think that's how you pronounce them. Um, I 
think I've never tried them before but like they look really delicious so I picked them up and I think it's a traditional um, sort of pastry from from France so I'm really excited to try this and one of the crew told me yesterday to try Madeleine's Madeleine's um, not sure how to pronounce that either so yeah I'm gonna go pack everything up all my groceries now change and hurry to my flight back to Dubai and then I'm off for a day and a half well day off and a rest day what we call and then I'm flying right after midnight to a very nice destination Mauritius yeah I'm excited about Mauritius because last time I was there was a very long time ago actually I think almost maybe two years ago or something and there was um, I think cyclone or typhoon I always mix the two but this basically the same thing and I didn't really do much and yeah it was just raining most of the time so I'm excited to go this time and my friend Emma is coming on the next flight so I'll probably see her as well okay guys I'm gonna go hurry so I'll show you how I do my bun when the lights are out and you're in the dark you kept pushing on but then you went too far when your ship has sailed and all your dreams are lost Everything is wrong, you feel like it's your fault Just remember